In 2013, there was a 47 percent jump in the number of home solar installations in the country. By the end of the year, more than 400,000 American homes had solar. Don Daler introduces us to one man who uses imagination to help energize the change. New Jersey is one of the top five users of solar power in the country. One company, Solar City, says they're signing up new users in 14 states at the rate of one every three minutes. An impressive figure, especially when you consider Solar City's co-founder and CEO, Lyndon Rive, has absolutely zero experience in the power industry. I'm a serial entrepreneur. This is my, this is my third company. A serial entrepreneur. <laughs> the, the, uh, um, <laughs> it is. I started my first company at 17, and then I started my second company when I was 22. Uh, sold that to, to Dell Computers and then uh, started uh, Solar City with my brother. Rive immigrated from South Africa 15 years ago and started a successful computer company with 280 employees. But that was not how he became a permanent resident. The interesting part of this is uh, I never went to university, so I didn't have a, a, a degree. So getting a green card for the country is really hard. There are conditions that can be made for special individuals with special talents, correct? Exactly. So um, both my wife and I uh, play underwater hockey. Well, well, hold on, you have to describe <laughs> what underwater hockey is first. So, so underwater hockey is you play with a mask, fin, snorkel, go down, hold your breath, play as long as you can. Before you run out of air, you give the puck to your buddy. Uh, you go up, get some air, and then come down and support your buddy. Wait, uh, you're not going to tell me that was your special talent? That's the special talent. <laughs> Exceptional ability for underwater hockey, and that's how we, we got our green card. Solar City's business model is as different as its CEO. We install the solar system for free. There's no cost. There's no cost for the equipment. There's no cost for the installation. There's no cost for the warranty and the maintenance. And then what we sell them is the electricity. How is that not just trading one utility company for another? It is. It's exactly that. So given the choice of paying more for dirty power or paying less for clean power, which one would you take? Rive says his system solves the main uh, issue that prevents homeowners from converting to solar power. Most people still are stuck with the stigma that solar is too expensive, um, I, I, don't want, I can't afford the investment. But when we tell them that there's no investment and you just save money and it's cleaner, the next reaction is, you know, what, what's the catch? What am I missing? What Rive is not missing is the gene for innovation. Elon Musk, creator of the all-electric car, the Tesla, is Solar City's chairman. He is also Rive's cousin. Solar City addresses the, fossil, uh, the electricity side and then Tesla addresses the transportation side. Mm. So the two combined, we can start living a carbon-free lifestyle uh, without sacrifice. You're obviously a, a good salesman, but do you buy your own product? Do you have solar power at your house? Absolutely, I have solar power at my house. I, I, I have a solar uh, system, I have an electric car. Does your electric vehicle happen to be a Tesla? It is a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest There's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, exactly. It was Musk who suggested Rive look into solar energy while the cousins were driving through the Nevada desert. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Don Daler, New York.